really got me like so much more than I thought it would. Now I'm dead. I had a moment this morning where I kind of just broke down because of feeling stressed, but I know that that's not going to get me anywhere. So even though it is the end of the day, I'm still going to make the most of what I have left and just accept the fact that it's okay to feel like shit and do nothing <laughs> for a day. So we're just sorting a few things out, doing some chores and I'm cleaning up a little bit. And um, yeah, then I'm going to start doing a bit of work today. Work itself has been super slow. Um, it's been a real struggle, honestly. And so I'm just going to take you guys along. I thought even though I'm not feeling like I'm in the best mood, it's probably the best time to film these birds. So cute. Got a new leaf sprouting, which is super exciting. I feel like a good plant mom. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> a lot of people. Why wouldn't it? <laughs> pieces, okay? It seems like all we do is get there too late, and I get a chance to stop something before it starts. Um, I wanted to come on here and have a little bit of a mental health discussion with you guys um, to explain a little bit about what went on yesterday. I didn't really vlog very much and I didn't really speak because I had a very emotional time and um, I was just experiencing a lot of 
depression. I've been in a bit of a slump lately, if I can be completely honest. It's been very financially stressful at the moment. Um, it's been literally rock bottom, not knowing where the next bit of money is going to come from. It's been very scary, very emotionally draining, and I've been so stressed that I've just been stripped of all my creativity, which is my only outlet. And so I found myself really, really struggling with dealing with things appropriately and I've just been really hitting rock bottom and I had a real big cry um so more than anything in the world I hate asking people for money and yesterday I ended up having to ask my dad for some money and then he offered to send me way more than I initially asked for and that for some reason just tipped me off and I broke down into tears I was so I just felt so spent and so low and disappointed and really just helpless and I just burst into tears and I I was just so sad and I, everything that I've been holding in just came out and I've been in this depressive kind of funk for the last couple of weeks. The other week I was going through a really tough grieving period, grieving over the loss of my grandmother that um, who passed earlier this year and when all of the crazy stuff was happening with the moon for some reason that brought out that so much and it just amplified it and that was a really tough time and yesterday I just broke down about our financial situation. I do think there's this really toxic stigma over social media that when you're in a funk you just have to keep going at your regular pace and keep moving and pushing and pushing. And I'm not saying you should throw in the towel and give up, but you definitely need to know when you need to stop because stopping is really important and knowing when to drop everything and give yourself some time to just be where you are in your mental state and not run from it. I was running from it so much. I couldn't write any music. I couldn't do anything creative and everything that I do is creative. And I just felt so helpless. And yesterday I was stuck in that lacking mindset and I just couldn't get out of it. And then I just let myself have a really slow day. I didn't get very much done. I just focused on getting little tasks done around the house, cleaning up, um, making the space a little bit more comfortable to live in. And when it got later in the night, it started to get really windy and kind of stormy, which is my favorite inspiration kind of weather. And I started turning to people who really inspire me. I found some new people online that I really resonate with and they make me feel really good. And because they're kind of in my niche that I like to create in, I feel very inspired to continue creating because I love creating content for you guys, but I was just such in a funk that I couldn't even pick up the camera to film anything. And so yesterday I really pushed myself and said, hey, there's probably going to be some of you guys, there's probably going to be people out there who are in the same state and who need someone to turn to, just like I turn to these people that I found online. And they've really helped me feel inspired again and feel a sense of purpose. And that's been really exciting. Uh, I want to kind of put that energy out there as well. And I let myself have this slow day yesterday. And when it came to literally midnight last night, I got this burst of creative energy. I don't know where it came from. Bless the fact that it happened though, it's a fucking miracle. Um, but I just had this explosion of creative energy, which I have been waiting for for such a long time and I've been asking for. And I just suddenly felt really good and I got out of this lacking mindset. I sent so many emails. I wrote proposals, I worked on my brand, my presentation, applied for things online and I just felt so, so inspired and felt really inspired to vlog today as well. I was really looking forward to it. And so it just goes to show that the fact that I gave myself the day to just reset and to allow myself to feel and let go, it made room for me to really explode which happened to be at midnight. I ended up going to sleep at like 3 a.m. in the morning, if not later. And so I woke up late today, um, which was fine. I didn't get mad at myself. I was just like, this is what it is. I'm still gonna get up. I'm still gonna start the day, even though half of it is over. 
and um, I'm still gonna get stuff done even though it's not a full day um, and I'll just try again tomorrow to wake up a bit earlier to get more stuff done I just allowed myself to get that sleep that I needed and I feel good today there's like a really nice energy in the air it's like windy and kind of gloomy outside but I don't feel gloomy I feel really inspired and ready to just go and send more emails and work more on everything and I just feel very creatively refreshed which is such a relieving feeling especially being someone who works exclusively in the arts sector like the creative industries it's really relieving to have that sense of finally I have a breakthrough yeah as I said I was really excited to vlog today and I thought this would be a useful bit of information maybe for someone going through a tough time at the moment to really not fall for that trap of you must push through and work at your regular pace it's important to slow down and to allow yourself to go at an easy pace that is going to give you time to repair and do the things that you need to do in order to feel better so yeah if you're in this state right now just take it slow take it easy i actually did a blog post on my jupiter's corner instagram about taking care of yourself when you are in a bad or tough position i guess and so yeah if you want to check that out it's just at jupiter's corner on instagram i have the link in my regular main instagram so you can go check it out but yeah, I'm going to get back into it today. I have a bunch of stuff to do and I think later we're going to go shopping because I got a bit of extra cash from a meditation job that I did. So we're going to use that to get some essentials that we need. We're still in lockdown here in Melbourne. It got extended and something tells me that it will probably be extended again. So that really was not helpful to my situation. I really feel for people who are you know, not in a good mental health space and have just been locked inside. It's really tough. Like it's been very taxing, but um, I'm feeling so much better. And I hope that you are feeling a little bit better too, if you've been in a bit of a slump. So yeah, <laughs> um, that's all I really have to say. I have lots of stuff to do, so I'm going to get started and I'll take you guys with me. Thanks for listening. It may be really tough right now, but I still every day feel so grateful for where we are. It's just such a cool place to be. We have a wonky dishwasher that we literally fixed this morning and it's just gone right back to the way it was. gotten some voiceovers to do i had a shot of this yesterday night this is my voiceover booth um basically it's just this microphone in a padded booth that goes over your head it's got a little light inside of it i'm gonna open up the stuff that i normally use if you would like me to do a day in the life of my kind of unconventional job I will totally do that I think that'll be one of my next videos there is a cute little story behind why I started doing voiceovers in the first place so yeah this is the program I use I use logic pro x I use this for my music as well and any audio editing that I need to do I'm gonna awkwardly pop you guys up in here to show you how I kind of do it but I will um disclose this better when I actually do a video like a proper video on this so I just get inside and I lift this over my head and I disappear into the abyss. We're on our way to Woolies just to get some groceries. We thought we'd go a bit later in the night because there's just less people. Um, so we're gonna pick up some stuff we need, come home and I'm probably gonna finish editing up this video and doing some other stuff that I need to do tonight. Probably record my podcast as well. I'll see you guys there. <laughs> Bye. Very cold. Ooh, 
where it's chilly. We're back from the shops and we are, well, Paul is cooking some dinner and that's it. I think I'm just going to edit this vlog, record a podcast, work on some other stuff tonight, maybe write some emails and that'll be me done for the day. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll talk to you very us. soon. Thanks so much for joining <laughs> us and I'll talk to you very soon. <laughs>